Salam, hello, bonjour. I'm Adnan Hussein, director of the Muslim Society's Global Perspectives Project at Queen's University. Today is a somber occasion, the fourth anniversary of the Quebec City Mosque massacre. On this day in 2017, Canada's most deadly attack on a religious community in a house of worship in its history took place when Alexander Bissonnet entered the Islamic Cultural Center of Quebec in saint foy Quebec City, and killed six worshippers and wounded 19 others, including Ayman Derbali, who suffered multiple gunshot wounds as he attempted to disarm the killer and protect others. The community in Quebec City has been devastated by this cataclysmic tragedy that left six widowed, 17 children orphaned, and scores of families attempting to rebuild their lives. They continue to need our help, which you can provide through the Green Square campaign launched last year and through Islamic Relief, which is helping the Islamic Cultural Center rebuild and fortify the mosque. You can learn more about this community's experience in the aftermath of the deadly massacre in a CBC GEM episode from 2019 entitled The Mosque, A Community's Struggle. It's a very interesting program. And while the program documents the courage and determination of Muslims in Quebec City to persevere and to rebuild, as I said, their lives, discouragingly, it also demonstrates how they feel abandoned, forgotten, and even targeted. In fact, it is well documented that incidents of anti-Muslim bigotry and Islamophobia rose significantly after the massacre, and not only in the province of Quebec, but across Canada. It is clearly vital that we remember this event and confront the growing problem of Islamophobia. As a result, for the past three years, Muslim society's global perspectives has organized special programs to mark this day, January 29th, to educate and remember. On the first anniversary, we held a panel discussion about the tragedy and uh, included perspectives on interfaith relations, the underlying problems of white nationalism and white supremacist violence. We called it a massacre then and continue to do so, despite renaming of the event in public media and other forums, often as a shooting or attack. It was a massacre. It was, at the time, Canada's most fatal mass shooting since the killing of 15 and wounding of 14 at the École Polytechnique in Montreal in 1989. And like the Montreal Massacre that we commemorate annually through a National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women, the Mosque Massacre has needed a National Day of Remembrance and Action Against Islamophobia. It is gratifying that just yesterday afternoon, the Minister of Canadian Heritage, Stephen Guilbeault, announced that January 29th will be now a National Day of Remembrance for the victims of the massacre and for action against Islamophobia. He noted in his statement, Islamophobia is a concrete and daily reality for Muslim communities everywhere. We have an obligation to remember the victims and a responsibility to combat discrimination and continue to build a more inclusive Canada. We can thank the grassroots efforts Hashtag I remember January 29 and the more than 70 Muslim organizations and allies who pressed for this measure. The second year in 2019, we invited Dr. Jasmine Zine of Wilfrid Laurier University to deliver a presentation on Islamophobia in Canada, where she elaborated upon her important analysis in an article for The Conversation, A National Day of Remembrance, Lessons from the Quebec Massacre. I encourage you to go back and read that essay. It's still remarkably relevant. And unfortunately, in many places, in many spheres, we have not made the kind of progress that's been necessary. Last year, we held a vigil circle at the John Deutsch Center on campus in order to reflect on the victims and on the underlying concerns and problems of Islamophobia 
and we thought about and discussed the intersections between the attack and other examples of religious and racial bigotry. Like, for instance, the massacre of nine black worshippers at the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina, in June 2015, by Dylan Roof, a young white supremacist and neo-Nazi. And also like the Tree of Life Synagogue Massacre in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in October 2018, when Robert Bowers killed 11 and wounded 7 during Shabbat services. He was a white nationalist particularly incensed that the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society was sponsoring the Syrian Muslim refugees. Clearly, the struggles against religious and racial bigotry of all kinds are interconnected. By observing this official day, we express solidarity with the victims not only of Quebec City, but of all who have suffered racial and religious discrimination and hateful violence, whether that is anti-Semitism, and we recall that earlier this week we observed Holocaust Remembrance Day, or anti-black racism, or colonial anti-indigenous dispossession and violence. Particularly, we at Queen's must remain engaged with, edu with educating against racism and religious bigotry. As Principal Patrick Dean has announced yesterday, action is taking place on the 11-point Declaration of Commitment to Address Systemic Racism, and he has provided an update on various measures and initiatives underway. Today's anniversary and the federal government's declaration underscores how combating and educating against Islamophobia must figure crucially and fundamentally in the university's mission, commitments, and measures to ensure equity, diversity, and inclusion. This year, due to COVID restrictions, unfortunately, we cannot meet together in person. However, we have, instead of a public lecture or similar event, recorded a special episode of The Mudgeless, our podcast launched earlier this academic year. In this episode, I discuss with Dr. Jasmine Zine her current and ongoing research on Islamophobia in Canada. We revisit her previous article on the five lessons of the massacre and discuss her latest article in the conversation published yesterday, Remembering the Quebec City Mosque Attack, Islamophobia, and Canada's National Amnesia. You can find it on all major podcast platforms and links on our Twitter and Facebook pages. Please do listen to that episode and share it. Muslim Society's Global Perspectives would like to encourage you to observe today in remembrance of the Quebec Mosque Massacre's victims and to take action against Islamophobia and all forms of racial and religious prejudice and discrimination. Join one of the virtual vigils and programs online. They've been going on over the course of this week, and there will be several also today. Noor Cultural Center on Wednesday evening, January 27th, held a thoughtful program, Islamophobia in Canada four years after the Quebec mosque shooting. The video is available on their Facebook page, and it really was superb, moving, and insightful. Moreover, they have launched a very valuable and important educational project, of a series of five short videos, less than five minutes each, and online resources meant for the public, as well as specific resources for educators in the 6th through the 12th grades. This project is called Islamophobia Is. You can find these videos and resources on the website they've created, islamophobia-is.com. I viewed these uh, videos and they really are a wonderful resource that present complex aspects of the problem of Islamophobia and confront various stereotypes about Islam and Muslims, all complex issues handled with care, insight, and a great deal of evidence packed into a very short uh, video. I encourage you to educate yourselves using them and to share them widely. Later today at 5.30 p.m., the Islamic Society of Kingston will be holding an event, Prayers for Peace and Remembrance for the Victims of the Quebec City Mosque Shooting. It will be live on their Facebook page. At 6.30, a national event has been organized by the Islamic Cultural Center of Quebec, also live on Facebook. 
visit their site or the event page created by the National Council of Canadian Muslims. We've provided links in the video notes and in the Facebook post. In addition to it being a day of remembrance, it should also be a day of action. So I would encourage you to support the Green Square campaign, which is ongoing, and fundraising for families and the mosque. On such a solemn and painful day, it is heartening that Canada as a nation can collectively remember Khalid Belkasmi, Abu Bakr Thabti, Mamadou Tanu Barri, Ibrahima Barri, and Abdul Karim Hassan. Their memory lives with us. Now we must turn to the task of educating against and acting to curtail the hate and bigotry that led to their killing while in their house of worship. Islamophobia remains a serious social problem in Quebec, in Canada, and beyond. Let's work together and with our allies in solidarity. Thank you again. Salam. Peace to all of you. Thank you.